Hey, welcome back. I'm going to teach you how to do a little more advanced scripting now. It's still not all that advanced, but it's more advanced than the last lesson. Let me just make this a more awesome color. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to do scripting that has to do with the console. And you press the squiggly key, which looks like you what it looks like for those of you who don't know what it looks like. Ah, well, let me type it. Well, anyways, it's that squiggly key thing that looks like this. That's really thin. So yeah, anyways, so it looks like that that button on your keyboard. So you press that. And so here's how to create a script for you to use. So let's so our goal is to make it so when this object is touched by another object, this hinge will start turning counterclockwise and knock these dominoes down. And when we play it, this will touch it, and then that will turn and knock the dominoes down. So we start by creating a script. So you always start with scene dot my dot, and then you name whatever you want to be called. So let's start with... So our script is going to be named motor says it's going to activate the motor and then we put space equals space false so what this means so you go to the script menu for the motor and you go to the motor menu and see how it's false so that's why I put false up there and now to make it so we want the motor to be based off of scene.my.motor so we put a left one of those things and put scene.my.motor and press enter. So now since scene.my.motor is false then this basically means false right here. So right now it doesn't have a motor. And so now let's go to the hinge menu make it reverse. And now, and never use auto break if you're using one of these scripts. For some reason, it will stop the script from working. So, let's put like something here to, pre to prevent it from just falling by itself. Well, actually we don't have to do that because it won't have enough time to fall. So now over here... This part's a little trickier. You go to on collide, which means whatever you type in here will happen when it comes in collision with another object. Type in scene dot my dot motor equals scene dot my dot motor equals true. So this means that when something hits this object, it will make scene.my.motor equal true instead of false. So then, since this is based off of that, it will have a motor. Let's test it. There we go. So that's how you can do those kind of scripts. And so now, I'm going to show you a little something that you can do with these kind of scripts. I'm still working on this. But when you get good at scripting, you can do really advanced stuff like... I'll show you the script for this. So I've made a bunch of my own scripts. 
This is like scene my magnet one will equal four hundred. That's basically the attraction of another object because it I want it to turn into a magnet. So like this takes a lot of custom scripting right here. I'll show you what it does. So that just automatically falls on its own. And then when the green box is touched, the magnet will turn on and the claws will close when the ball touches the magnet. And then when the claws close, it starts going up. And then when that red box is touched, a couple things will happen. It'll stop going up and it'll move to the right. And when this red box is touched, it'll stop moving sideways and start moving down. And now, I'll explain this part after this. So you're probably wondering how, you're probably wondering what activated the claw to open. Because it's kind of hard to notice what touched each other there. So right now, I'll just start it over. So, this is colli collided with B and C, but this is collided with nothing. And if something does touch this, that will activate the claw opening, which is all those scripts. And so the way I had it touch each other, first, I'll just drag that to make it faster. So when this box is touched, then, so it has a lot of scripts here, but this bottom script, seeing my collide set will mean 4, it's basically changing the collide set of this. So right now it's nothing, but then when the box touches it, now it collides with C. And so now this will collide with it. And when it does, this will activate the claw opening. And here it goes. And so, pretty advanced stuff. Took me a while to plan out just this small thing. So scripting, when it comes to this, can take some patience sometimes, unless you're just doing like simple stuff, like the previous lesson. But you can figure stuff out like this, and when I'm done with this contraption, I'm going to upload it, and so you can download it and see it in real time, because it's pretty skippy over a screen recorder. And I have some other contraptions too that I've already uploaded. So you can just look on the website. I'll post the link in the description. My name is Crytek on the website. So you can check out my scenes there. And if I can if I learn any more stuff with scripting, then I'll try posting it. I've pretty much taught you everything I know about on polite scripting. So that is the lesson. Thanks for watching.